black card along the center score line. I want to make sure I'm folding towards the bump again. And crease with your bone folder. Now we'll cut a circle that extends beyond the fold so we don't cut off the fold. I found this mug that is a little over four inches, or it's about four inches in diameter, so I'll use that to trace around. I want to lay it so it will extend beyond the edge of the card, and then trace around. After tracing, I cut out the circle, and you see that I actually have a little bit more um, of the fold left than I should have, but you should have about an inch. Decide which part of your image you want to be the bottom, and you want to adhere the bottom section only again to the bottom section of your round card. And you might want to open it and make sure you don't have any excess adhesive like I do there. I'm going to push that out of the way. If you have an adhesive remover, that works well. Or just rub it to make it so it's not adhesive. And sometimes you can get it to rub off. But now it's just turning black from my cardstock. Anyway, if you have any extra like that, be sure and remove it. And now your card will stand up like an easel. To make sure it's going to stay exactly in place, we're going to adhere a snowflake and some rhinestones that will hold it up. Adhesive dots are the best thing to hold these rhinestones and the uh, snowflakes securely. The snowflake actually holds it, but I will put on the rhinestones also to Add some decoration, mostly. And you can see how to apply the rhinestone to the adhesive dot. And then it pulls off with the dot. You don't have to pull the dot off with your fingers or anything like that. Just lay it right over on top of the dot on your sheet. And then pull it up and place it where you'd like on your card. Now, this unique Christmas card is also finished.